One of the areas that I think is going to be extremely disruptive to the world and to business over the next decade, two decades, even longer than that, is going to be autonomous driving. And I think the future of autonomous driving is going to look more like transportation as a service than it is adding more and more technologies to the vehicles that we have today. So who are the leaders in that space? I'm going to cover three companies today who are actually deploying product into the field. I'm not going to talk about Tesla in part because Tesla has a driver assist technology, FSD and autopilot and has not proven the ability to move to level three, level four, or level five autonomy. I know I've gotten a lot of pushback on that in the past, and we'll see what they announced at their RoboTaxi Day on August 8th. But the reality is that we've been hearing for almost a decade that Tesla is months or maybe a year away from full autonomy, level five autonomy, and that has just not been the case. So I'm not really interested in companies who are not putting product on the road that is actually driving itself. I'm interested in the companies that are actually proving themselves on the road, putting data out there that we can see and rely upon. So the three companies that I wanna highlight today are Mobileye, the company that's providing technology as a horizontal services business to a lot of automakers out there, General Motors subsidiary Cruise, and then Alphabet subsidiary Waymo. Cruise and Waymo are both operating what you would call a level four autonomy system where it is transportation as a service. They are not licensing that technology out to anyone else, at least not yet. So I'll discuss their business models in a little while, but I think that is going to be the right business model for that particular strategy. And Mobileye has a very compelling business model for their strategy. So I'm going to dig into all that today. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. So let's start with Mobileye. So this is Mobileye's product vision. And the way to think about Mobileye is as a horizontal service provider. So they are not making a vehicle. They are not a consumer interface. They are making a product, hardware and software that they are then selling or licensing to auto manufacturers. So there is a ADAS system, advanced driving assistance. There is supervision, hands off, eyes on. That would be similar to Tesla's FSD. There's chauffeur, eyes off, and then what they call drive, which is no driver in the car at all. This is going to be geofence, so this would be level four autonomy, similar to what we see from Cruise and Waymo. But those are the four products that they're bringing to the market, and you may own a vehicle that has some mobile eye technology in it today. They are already working with some of the biggest auto manufacturers in the world, so Volkswagen, Renault, Ford, GM, all of these companies have at least some sort of mobile eye technology in them. Their revenue pipeline, they say, is $7.4 billion just added in 2023 at an average system price of about $122. So like I said, the idea here is to generate revenue on a per vehicle basis and then spread that out over a ton of vehicles. So they're not trying to sell you a $40,000 product. They're trying to sell you a $122 product and do that millions and millions of times. The design wins that they say that they have had goes from ADAS at the high end, 275 million units, supervision, almost 4 million units, chauffeur, 600,000, and then drive relatively small, but we'll see how that plays out long-term. That's not something I would really count on quite yet, but we're building up to that vision with a company like Mobileye. The supervision and chauffeur pipeline is companies that you may know, may not know. Geely is one of their bigger customers. They're going to be a Chinese-based company, have electric vehicles. Some of their vehicles are in production, but most of this production is going to be more like 2025, 2026. Porsche has a vehicle coming in 2026, and there are a bunch of other manufacturers, not in the U.S., China, India, and some Western OEMs as well. They have a number of key technology enablers, including their own chips, computer vision, and sensors that they use to sense exactly what's going on. If you look at, listen to some of their conference calls or talks at conferences, you can hear that there are basically a number of challenges that have already been answered. Like sensing a vehicle is a challenge that's already been answered. Now it's just a matter of figuring out what to do with that information and processing, processing that in the right way to control the vehicle to get to full autonomous driving. So that's really their vision. And here's one of the things that I really appreciate about Mobileye in particular, and this is the case for most of these companies, as Tesla is trying to do everything with vision, 
What mobile eye is highlight highlighting here is that redundancy is key to robustness. I think this is one of these things that's like engineering 101. You want to have redundancy in systems where you can have a catastrophic failure. So you have cameras and you have LIDAR. You have appearance-based algorithms and geometry-based algorithms. You have AI learning and you have a model-based system. So all of these pieces are really important to build a robust level four or level five autonomous system. So Mobileye is one of the leaders in this space as far as a horizontal service provider company goes. They've got a bunch of wins. They won a big contract with Volkswagen recently. So that could be a huge amount of volume going through the system. The problem is they're just not profitable. And right now the company is making about $1.9 billion in revenue. You can see that that dropped recently, lost money. There's gonna be lumpiness to the business, but when exactly do we get to the point where we're gonna see some of these systems being rolled out? It seems like a lot of the traditional automakers are kind of delaying their autonomous systems a little bit more than a company like Tesla is. Some of them are building some of these systems themselves. I'll build to get to GM in just a second. But I think if there is a need for autonomy as a service that you can incorporate in your vehicles, Mobileye is gonna be one of the major players. And that's why it's an attractive player in this market. It's definitely not a no brainer. It's a high risk stock, but it is the kind of company that has the right technology, the right pieces. It can be modular in the auto business, which is gonna be a really important factor for them. And when you get to those design wins, that takes usually a couple of years to get those design wins before you're actually putting products in vehicles, that can make you very sticky in the business. So not a stock that I own yet, but definitely one on my watch list. The next one I wanna highlight is General Motors, and I'll roll this into Alphabet as well because they have very similar business models when it comes to autonomy. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. This is Cruise. This is the autonomous driving company that is a subsidiary of General Motors. They own about 80% of this business. Right now, what they're doing is they're launching and scaling this vehicle, a modified Chevy Bolt. So you got all this wonky equipment on top. This is the LIDARs and a lot of the sensors and computing. The long-term vision is to move to this vehicle right here, which is the Cruise Origin. That's on hold as they work their way back to market after an accident in October 2023, where there was actually a hit and run, a human hit and run Cruise was not at fault for that accident, but that accident actually caused their vehicles from, to be pulled from the roads. Now they're actually scaling back in Texas and also in Arizona. So Phoenix, Dallas, and Austin are the three cities that they're currently scaling in. But the general idea is that this vehicle is gonna be your personal taxi, transportation as a service, just like an Uber, except there's gonna be no driver. So they've built the full technology stack, they have the modified vehicles, they have the plan for the next step, now the business model is going to be exactly the same as Uber, Uber, but without a driver. The upfront cost of capital would be extremely high, but this is General Motors. They are used to making large capital investments with the payoff being down the road. I think the attractiveness of this business model is once you build that capital and you get the rider base, this is ultimately gonna be a winner take all market just like ride sharing is, except that you're gonna have physical infrastructure in place because you have these autonomous vehicles in place. So if Cruise ends up winning, we're talking about a market that could potentially be worth a trillion dollars plus. And this is one of only a couple of companies that are actually doing this. Waymo is another one of them I'll get to in just a second. But they have put millions of miles on the road, have been working with regulators, not only in the US, but also other countries as well. And on top of Cruise, General Motors, so this would be the stock that you would be buying, also has what they call Super Cruise, which is their hands-free product. So a little bit like FSD, not available in quite as many areas, but this is now rolling out to more and more vehicles. This has cameras, other sensors, GPS, LIDAR. So not gonna be a full self-driving, but more of a level two driving like Tesla's FSD is. The map of available roads is getting larger and larger by the year, larger and larger by the month. They say that there are 189 million miles that you can drive with Super Cruise, so it's a pretty big swath of the country. Waymo is obviously the other company. This is owned by Alphabet, so one of their side projects. Not gonna be nearly as big an impact if this does work out as you would have with a company like General Motors. That's more like a market cap of $50 billion. Alphabet, obviously a market cap of a couple trillion dollars. So if you, build, if you get a trillion dollar business in ride sharing, autonomous ride sharing out of that, 
not going to be quite the same upside as you get from General Motors, but potentially better technology. They have not had the kind of incident that Cruz had in October. They're also launching in a few more cities. And they have, just like Cruise, this modified vehicle. There's a couple of different brands that they've gone to in the past. The biggest difference with Cruise is there isn't the same vision to actually scale this business. Like, I don't know exactly what Waymo does if everything works out exactly the way that they planned. Do they start working with one of their manufacturing partners to say, hey, we actually want to make a custom vehicle? Don't know that that's going to be, we don't know that that's going to be the case right now. Do they partner with Uber to have be their autonomous driving arm? Do they just get acquired by Uber? The business model is a little bit less clear, but it seems like the technology is very, very good for Waymo. 20 billion real world and simulated miles. Waymo's driving four or five million miles per year, fully autonomous with nobody, with no driver in the car. So a little bit ahead of cruise from a miles driven perspective, but maybe not quite as attractive from a business model perspective. So these are three companies that are leading the way in autonomous driving. Mobileye has a great business model with being the horizontal services provider to all kinds of different manufacturers all over the world. Not only are your traditional US manufacturers, but manufacturers in China and India. So potentially large addressable market all the way from level two autonomy, all the way to potentially level four or level five autonomy. Cruise and Waymo, which are subsidiaries of GM and Alphabet respectively, have a different business model building the actual autonomous vehicles and then actually providing transportation as a service. So if that works out, they become the Ubers of the future with fully autonomous driving. That could potentially be a much, much bigger business and more profitable business than even Uber because you would have control of the supply and the demand. Those, those vehicles could be built custom so you could fit four, potentially six people inside of them. I think that's potentially the way that we're going in the future. It may take a while to get there, but those are the two leaders that I would bet on in that space. So if you're interested in autonomous driving, check out Mobileye, GM, and Alphabet as your leaders. I think they are a much better bet to actually be on the road and driving fully autonomously than even Tesla is. But what do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.